Hi everyone, Dana Hall here. So I wanted to start to put together videos um, that are based around meal prepping and recipes because um, I know that meal prepping can be a bit um, time consuming and a little bit overwhelming um, and feel like a daunting task to a lot of people. And um, so I'm all about time savers and making it as easy as possible. So I'm going to just kind of start sharing recipes and different meal prep tips that I do. Um, today's I am working on a chili recipe to put in the crock pot. Um, this is a recipe from Rockin' Mom's Kitchen. Um, I don't know if you've heard of her, um, but go ahead and check out her page on Facebook or Instagram. She's fantastic. I don't follow anyone regularly other than her. Um, I do go on Pinterest and I look for recipes or whatever, but she is someone that I follow regularly because um, she has fantastic um, tips and um, she's just amazing. So um, I've already gone ahead and prepped everything, so I'm just going to kind of give you the gist of what this involves and how long it'll take. Mine's a little bit different than her recipe. I will post a link to the original. I'll post what I did mine with, um, and I'm going to go over that with you today. Okay, so in this bowl, I have my chopped onions and carrots. Um, this is the I did a rainbow carrots. Um, you can get those at Trader Joe's. I've never done it before. I'm really excited to try it. And they're pretty finely chopped. That was kind of an accident, but I'm not really concerned about it. I'm kind of excited to try it. Um, and the recipe actually calls for two carrots. I did four, and it calls for a small onion. I would say mine was more like a medium large. Um, and that's okay because it called for the pepper, and I didn't have a pepper. So I did that just to make up for that. Also, it calls for beans. I don't like beans in my chili. Um, so I'm not going to add beans, but go ahead and add beans. And it is the um, pinto or cannelli beans. So um, also you're going to have diced tomatoes. So I have a can of diced tomatoes here that I'll be adding. You need 15 ounces. This is 28. I'll probably put the whole thing in there. I just wing it. Um, and then you want to have um, a pound of beef chunk or uh, any other tougher cut of meat. I got stew meat beef stew meat what it's called I think um and that's a little bit over a pound I totally weigh my recipes um and then this are the this is the mix of the ingredients that's gonna go in there as well so this is um the chicken broth there's a half a cup of chicken broth in there it's the coriander the paprika ground cumin chili powder salt and pepper and then it says to mince up garlic I'm big on just using the minced garlic already instead of like chopping it I'm lazy what can I say um and so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and put all these ingredients in your crock pot and then you're gonna cook it on either low or high low is gonna be um six to eight hours and then high is gonna be three to four hours um on your crock pot and then um you can top it with things like uh sour cream and cheese I will definitely probably put some cheese on mine um, if I do want sour cream I'll use Greek plain yogurt because it tastes the same and it's better for you um, so those are my modifications a little bit different like I said I'll post her recipe I'll post what I did um, and just let me know if you have any questions but uh, you know one of my big tips is um, when I'm meal prepping I come up with two meals for dinner for the week um, and I try really hard to have one that goes in the crock pot because I feel like that makes it just so much easier. Like I just have to put this all in and this prep didn't take very long at all. Um, so this will go in the crock pot and then, um, I'm lucky my husband is going to be making a roasted chicken with vegetables in our, um, skillet. He's fantastic at it. Um, I'm kind of addicted to it. It's amazing because he's just got a talent with seasoning. Um, it, and it goes such a long way because you can do so many things with the, the uh, chicken. You can put it on salads. You can just eat it by itself. Um, you can make wraps with it. Uh, you can make chicken salad with it. <laughs> There's so many limitless possibilities with it if you get bored easily. Um, so those are going to be our two dinners for this week. Um, and stay tuned. I'm going to try and keep up with these videos and try and keep them as short as possible. Um, again, if you have any questions or anything like that, let me know and I will post a recipe for you. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.